I love that animation. She's so cute. I mean, I love her. She's the best. All right, Kitty. Looks like we're on a quest together. Any cool battle cry like words before we embark on it? I'm a little hungry, and I'm afraid my fur's going to get all matted in these filthy streets. Sorry, you were saying? I was thinking more like time for, you know, whatever adrenaline pumping music kids listen to these days. Time for Bossa Nova. <laughs> Let's get on with it. Rare. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> Hello there. Weird looking kiddo in the middle of the street. I think I'd better talk to her. <sighs> I'm not scared or anything. I just don't. You you talk to her, okay? <laughs> okay, fair enough. Hey, little girl, what are you doing in the street by yourself this late at night? Hey, big guy, what are you doing disturbing peaceful citizens for no good reason this late at night? Well, let me try that again. What's your name, kiddo? If you must know, it's Priscilla. Are you Pissing? sure you don't mean Priscilla? Do I look like the kind of person who can't correctly pronounce their own name? It's Priscilla! What's your name, smarty pants? Uh... Buzz. Buzz? My dad really loved his electric shaver. <laughs> what? I... Is that because I got the cookie? Or is it just unrelated? Also, this person looks highly suspicious. Hey, I was just genuinely concerned. Well... Don't be. Drop my fishy and that sign up there, and Grandma let me come out on the street and try to get it. But I can't reach it! All right, all right, settle down. Can't Grandma help you out? Grandma's been taking her bath for quite a while now. Grandma says we'll go to Fishma soon. We're just waiting for this big bathtub we ordered to be delivered. Grandma can't go traveling without her new bathtub. All right, weird enough. Fishmas. Is that like... Um... It's one of the... Novellas. One of the Lovecraftian love novellas. It's like... Portmouth? I don't remember. It's something like Fishmas. Like that is a reference to a Lovecraft thing. Oh, speaking of weird vaults. So, you're just, uh, standing there, huh? People tend to do that in this kind of game. Yeah, I always <laughs> wondered about that. I just like to watch them sitting there clicking their little lives away. Okay. Hi, feel girl. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's me. I don't want to ask that. I, I might have to, but I don't want to. Aren't your mom or dad around? Mom and dad moved to Fishmith last month. And we'll move there too, soon. But not until I get my fishy! This is my favorite so far. My favorite, you know, person walking. You know, this just feels wrong somehow. I'm a dark haired little girl standing in the middle of the street at night holding a doll by the hand. Scared yet? Scared? <laughs> nope. A little bit creeped out by how irresponsible your grandma is. I'll give you that. Very fair. Okay. She's cute though. That's the fishy? Yes. Who has a fish doll? That little girl. I think it's that little girl's fish doll. Okay, you answered yourself. Hey, kitty, how about you climb up and get that fishy for me? Well, you gotta ask yourself, Buzz. What do we stand to gain from me exerting myself in that manner? Uh, nothing for now, I guess. See? Don't anger me, feline. Come on, Buzz. You're embarrassing yourself. Don't you want to do it just to put a smile on that little girl's face? You mean that pale abomination? 
How about we have nothing to do with her or her face? How does that sound? Your heart is the tip of a glacier that was accidentally bitten off by a blind, evil old sea monster, kitty. Don't try to flatter me. It won't work. <laughs> I love her so much. Man, that's one attractive dude. Mm -hmm. This picture of a male model, I feel like I need, I need to have it. Take it. Oh, Get it yourself, you can reach it. Uh, just to be clear, I'm not picking this up for personal use. Mm, sure you aren't. I mean, you do you, but I... I don't want to judge your tastes. But... Seriously? Um, so, oh, graffiti. That sign keeps popping up all over the place lately. That sign? It somehow looks old. That's a specific sign? It doesn't look like it'll snap me back to cathood, Buzz. Okay, Used to be fine. you'd absentmindedly open this door and the whole of Darkham would be flooded. Is that... is that water I hear lapping behind the wall? So that's... what? Back then, door. Now, wall. Wait, I don't get it. Kid A has no use for that walled archway. Hmm. Like, there is a door. So... Oh, okay. It's not a door. It's an archway that has been walled, like the name suggests. <laughs> Fair enough. Okay, cool. Um, so this is the place, right? Let's go in. Oh no, this is. Oh, got it. I thought we arrived at the place. But no, this is outside our house. It's the door to the fishery. The fishery? It's the door to the... Okay. It's closed. Ugh, never could stand fish. How people can eat that is beyond me. We have bigger fish to fry, Buzz. <laughs> I see what you did there. Nice. Um, that is that is some big fish. I mean, I don't know. Putting it on, unless it's fake, unless it's fake fish. Putting it on the window overnight doesn't feel like a smart idea. That's Jeremiah Orn, Old Man Orn's ancestor. He's practically the father of the Miskatonic Library. Is that the library? No, it's the aside, of course. Dark aside, of course. Statues are a new concept to Kitty, but she still doesn't look impressed. Void Smoker Alley. Never heard of him. Uh, let's check out the tiny print. Apparently, this guy was a struggling artist that aged naturally while his portrait stayed the same. What a lousy demonic deal. <laughs> could have been worse. Not sure how exactly, but it could have. Could have. To why void smoke? Here's the smoke in the void. I mean, I haven't read Dorian Gray, so. And very uncultured is smoking the void something in Dorian Gray. <sighs> Thanks for being a good dude, Void Smoker. Okay, blonde lady. Hello there. It's a nice looking blonde lady. Did you say that out loud? Yep, definitely a nice looking blonde lady. Mm -hmm. Nah, it's your chance to talk to a girl. Okay. I just hey there. want to Hello? have very Approaching lonely women on benches at night, are we? Not interested. 
I'm sorry, miss, but I feel this strange urge to bother everyone I meet and ask a lot of questions. <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. Sorry, let me start again. My name's Buzz. Oh, that's just preposterous. I, uh, I have a B-shaped birthmark. Nice evening we're having, huh? Really? Why don't you just keep it original and ask for the time? I think I'm misrepresenting myself here. Oh, sure, sure. Gotta run. So run. Okay, fair enough, actually. So, burn sim some D. Mm. What do you mean, some D who? I didn't say that. Just Wikipedia, you slacker. They haven't been formally introduced. Okay, fine, I'll Wikipedia it. Hey Google, Baron Samdi. He's a law of the dead, along with the Baron, with Baron's numerous other incarnations, Baron Cimetière, Baron Lacroix, and Baron Criminel. Huh. So, hey Google, what is a law of voodoo? I did think it was some kind of god, and I guess I was right. Can I get it? The Baron is sure not to be trifled with. I'm sure nothing bad will happen if I take a voodoo doll. People really love plastering eyes everywhere. Did you know that the mere graphical suggestion of an eye can unconsciously make you more apprehensive? Well, this town is full of them, so... Mm. Great. Oh, look at the cute voodoo dolls. Who would just leave them here? They are cute. On the other hand, who dare touch them? But they'd look great on that shelf near my bed. They would. Okay, can I not interact with the actual door? Okay, window. This small window somehow communicates with the interior. How cool is that? It's, a, it's just a, a warm reddish orange glow emanates from its tiny opening. Uh, hello there? Password? Swordfish. Too classic. <laughs> Now I want to know what that is a reference to. I'm sure it's a reference to something. Can I send Kitty in there? Even she can't squeeze in through there. I mean, she squeezed through a like a closet opening. Like that was very narrow. She could definitely squeeze through that window. But okay, fine. Unless my eyes betray me, it's a taxi. A yellow one. Big D Street. No idea who this guy's either. Alright, let's look at the tiny print. Absent-minded professor and big proponent of video games in general. Will forever be remembered for always choosing keyboards over controllers. Man, they'll just name streets after anyone these days. <laughs> At okay. least he was into video games. At least. I'm sure this street sounds way naughtier than intended. Yep. At least you mentioned it. Thanks for supporting video games, Big D. Oh, wait. Are these the backers? Like the um, uh, Kickstarter backers, maybe? There's a guy inside, but I can't quite distinguish his face. Evening. It sure is. <laughs> it is uh, an evening, yes. Do you know anything about this mysterious building you're parked next to? Look, kid, it's a taxi, not a guided tour bus. 
Get a lot of customers tonight? Not if you don't move out of the way, I don't. There's that blonde lady over there. Oh yeah, brought her here a while ago. What can you tell me about her? Man, that sounds creepy as hell. It does. You an investigator or something? Um... I guess, maybe. Yep, B. Kerwin, P.I. Yeah, sorry. Not gonna say anything, son. Her business is her business. I was gonna use, you know, Ketaip's name, but I guess that's not an option. Can so I say about my friend? the blonde girl? Yeah. I'm her legal advisor. I just keep close and make sure she doesn't do anything crazy. In that case, I don't know. Okay, that's fine. She's not leaving without me. Plus, we're both broke. <laughs> okay. Um. So, lady, do you want? I mean, a uh, she doesn't need to see good-looking, dude. <laughs> do you want a cookie, dude? No, jeez. Why not? You want uh I wouldn't soda? do that to her. Fine, I don't know what you want me to do then. They say the guy in charge is a real joker. <laughs> Get it? Because it's our camasai. I hear they've been having a bat problem over there. <laughs> oh. Nah. Well, it's uh the moon. It looks bigger than the entire planet. That's pretty much it. Nah. I have no idea what to do. Wait, can I? I don't want to cut Mr. Handsome over here. Of course you don't. G'day. How do we get past this door? I don't know. Examining our surroundings? Talking to everyone? Cunning and ingenuity? Sheer luck and using everything on everything? Thanks for pointing out all the options. I mean, that's what I was doing, I think. I guess I didn't use everything on everything, but I usually reserve that for last. What do you think of the blonde girl, Kid A? Seems to me like you want her on your side. You mean like befriend her? Yeah, I guess. Find something to talk to her about. Kitty, why won't you help me get Basilla's doll from up there? Do you really have to be unnecessarily mean? Look, Buzz, I'm a very goal-oriented cat. We need to find that VG person. That little girl's problem can wait. <sighs> I somehow feel you're wrong about this. Whatever. Dark comes just beautiful at night, isn't it? No. Uh, in a <laughs> creepy kind of way? No. <sighs> it really isn't. Oh, come on, it's nice. Still mad about being humanized? Very much so. Okay, just checking. Again, I wouldn't say you've been humanized. You're just, you're, you're just a talking cat now. So, would you I'm just or? curious, did you get the same password I got or is he cycling them? Oh, I got. Hey, you can't pull that trick on me, mister. Gave it a shot. <laughs> anyway, I was wondering if you're waiting by this mysterious door. Oh, did he give you the boot too? He told me I just have to sit for a while and... Rethink what I wished for my husband. He told you? The gentleman, dummy. Oh, of course. So, what'd you wish for your husband? Why, his untimely gruesome death, of course. Of course. Of course. I'm Margot, by the way. Made a new friend. Buddy, buddy, buzz. Nice to meet you, Margot. 
I'm so curious if that is actually anything or if it's... I don't know. If it's just weird gamey stuff. Can I ask what your husband did to make you homicidal? Oh, I'm perfectly convinced he's trying to murder me to get my money. Ouch. Wouldn't it be easier to just divorce or write him out of the will? Yes, I guess it would be. But what better way of responding to murder than with, well, murder? I'm Enough. never getting married. Say, you wouldn't happen to be a gun for hire, would you? I mean, honestly, mood, so... I happen to be on anything for hire. Want to make an easy buck? I, uh, sheesh, I really can't this week. I have this cursed ancient tome and a talking cat to take care of, so, uh... I get the feeling you're pulling my leg, Buzz. Oh, you'd know if I did that. Um... I mean, it doesn't mean that I can't do it just because I have other stuff to do. I'm a librarian. Oh, all right. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm an undercover cop. Put him up. Psh. Yeah, right. Let me see your badge, officer. I left it in my investigating pants. We got different pairs for different assignments, you know. Return in those pants and you're free to arrest me. Uh, cleaner said they'll only be done by Tuesday. They got bad shining services too. I walked right into that one. Ah, sure. I'm a... never mind. I don't know what that was about. So... Gotta run. Gotta run. So run. Still don't know what to do. What's that purple light there? 